Hi, Debbie here. Well, I thought I would just come on and show you how I made these little quilted um, pocket prayers. Now, I showed you these on a video yesterday, so I thought I would just come on because I need to make some more and just show you how I put them together. Now, the only thing I'm not going to be showing you is me on the sewing machine because I don't, I don't know how to edit that well, so for me to be moving my camera all around, it would be just too much for me to do. <laughs> so anyway, what I use are these, they're called honey buns. And what they are is they're one and a half inch strips that are like 45 inches long. And I just cut them into five inch lengths because I just need one and a half by five inch to make the little heart. So that was, that's the first thing I do. And it's so much better to buy the little honey bun um, already cut into one and a half inch strips because then all I have to do is cut them all into five. And with this roll, this honey bun roll, these are the colors that I'm getting. I'm getting pink and I, I group them into colors. Blue, green, brown, and gold. Now each one of these bags that I have cut, each one will make four hearts. So I have plenty here. And the ones I'm going to be working with today are the pink ones. So here's what I do. I think I'm going to be working. And each, and each one has five designs. Each little packet will have five designs. And these are the designs that we have here. Just make sure I got them all. There we go. So we have five designs. Let me just tilt that down. There you can see it. So what I do is I just take one, and then I'll take another one, and then I'll put them, um, you know, right sides together and then I'll go to my machine and then I, do, I will just stitch a quarter inch seam allowance and then I will just add the next one, then the next one, then the next one, then I'll have all five on there and then I'll just switch them around so that they're not all exactly the same and then I will just do all these until I have all of them stitched together in a row of five and then I'm going to go to the sewing machine, I'm going to stitch these all together, and then I'll come back and show you what we have. Okay, well I have them all sewn together, and this is what they look like. And I put them all in different orders, so they're all different orders. So what I need to do now is I need to go to the iron, and I need to press my seams. One stack I'm pressing my seams to the right, and on the other stack I'm going to press them to the left, so that when I put them together, I have locking seams. So I just sewed these with a quarter inch seam allowance and I had my stitching length set at two. So let me go to press these and I'll be right back. So they're all pressed. All the seams are pressed to one side and this is what it looks like. So what I need to do now is I need to turn my fabric like this and then I'm going to go over and measure over one and a half inches and cut and I'm going to do that three times and um, so I'm going to do that off camera with my rotary cutter over here because I just switched my blade and it's super sharp <laughs> and I'm going to do that off camera so I'm not nervous doing it on camera and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, they're all cut into strips. So now what I need to do is I need to take five strips and arrange them in a way that I can put them together and there's no two right next to each other so I need to go through this little pile and put five of them together and then I just go to my sewing machine and then I'm just going to sew them together with a quarter inch seam allowance. So let me go ahead and do that and I'll show you what they look like. Okay I have all my pieces sewn together so I have the patchwork part of this done. So what I need to do now is I need to go to the iron and then I need to press all these seams open and get these as flat as I possibly can get them. 
Okay, everything's pressed nice and flat, and I've pressed all my seams open. So the next thing, what I need to do is I have a piece of low loft batting, and it's just cut to size. I think it's five inches square, and I am going to place this on the batting, and of course it will be extending around. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the sewing machine and then I'm going to sew these pieces together and I'm going to be sewing what is called sewing in the ditch. So I'm just going to be sewing inside the seam lines here all the way around. And that's what's going to give it the quilting look. So I'm going to go over to the uh, sewing machine and I'm going to start quilting this together. Okay, here's how they're all quilted on with the batting. So that's what it looks like on the back. So I've done four of them. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is I need to get out my heart template, and that's what this is. And I need to put it on my piece of fabric like this. I'm not doing it this way. I'm doing it in a, in a you know, triangle. And then I'm going to do it like this. And then I'm going to take my pen, and then I'm, I'm using a friction pen, friction grip pen. These... Um, with heat, they'll erase right off my material. So I'm going to draw, trace around my heart, and cut it out. So that's what we're going to do next. And this is what it looks like with all my, with my tracing. And then I made sure I made my marks where I need to not sew so I can turn this out. So let me go cut these. Okay, I have all my hearts cut out. So the next thing I need to do is I need to put the backing on. And with the backing, there's also, as you remember from these, there's also a pocket. So I have my piece for the backing and I have my piece for the pocket. Now the pocket just gets folded into like a, a triangle. But I want to take this to my sewing machine because I want to put a little running deck decorative stitch right across the top of my pocket. So I'm going to do that and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I went ahead and sewed my decorative edge. It's just little hearts. It's just a continuing little thing. Of, I just thought it'd be cute on the back of the pocket. So the next thing I need to do is take the backing, which I have a piece cut out here. I think it's just a five inch square and this looks like a four and a half inch square into a rectangle. And we're going to place it down at the diagonal like this. I'm going to put my pocket on, and then I'm going to take one of the hearts, and I'm going to put that on, and then I'm going to pin it into place, and then I'm going to sew all the way around, leaving an opening so that I can turn this right side out. Oh, okay, they're all sewn onto their backing, so I'm just going to take some scissors, and now I'm going to just going to go around and I'm just going to cut all the excess off and then I'm going to turn it right side out. Okay, well I have them turned right side out and I press them so they're nice and pressed, ready to go because what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go to my sewing machine and do a top stitch all the way close to the edge and before I close the opening that's when I'm going to place a little cross inside and then I'll close the opening. So let me go do that. Okay, I have the top stitching done and the little crosses inside. So the next thing I just need to do is I just need to take some some thread, some embroidery thread, and then just I'm just going to sew a little bow right here in the center. Okay, well I put my little bows on all of them. It's just a little piece of embroidery thread. And then I just made a little knot at the end so it doesn't unravel. So all I need to do now is just put in a little prayer. And we're all finished. And this is all set ready to be given as a gift to someone. And I, and like you know on the other video that I did, these are for sale. And I'll have all that information in the description box below if you're interested. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now, because now I have more to make. <laughs> See you later.